Today I have the chance to work with Dr. Leland Ferguson and he's a chiropractor and he will be assessing my climbing muscle weaknesses and strengths. We want to look at two things. We want to look at the overall neurological or the electrical impact from the brain to where the muscle is to see if that works or see if there's some sort of biomechanical issue. We want to make sure we solve the problem not just stretch the muscle because the stretch may have been the first thing that caused the injury. So we're gonna go ahead and do some basic tests and find the solution and correct the problem and retest that and see how he climbs afterwards. All right, let's go. The first test was lateral raises. Okay, yes, the max so weight I could lift on that day is 15 pounds and it ties my personal record. The second test was pull-ups. The max rep I could do on that day is seven and my personal record was 10. The third test was climbing a difficult move I was stuck at. I tried this overhang dynamic move with an awkward pinch at least 20 times in a few days, but never made it. So first we're gonna look at abduction. So abduction is lifting up. So go ahead and lift your arm up, push up, push up, push up. He's like really struggling to keep his arms up. Right here, all the way up, lift it up, straight, push up to the sky, push up, push up. So again, super weak. You have some strength, but it doesn't work, all right? So we're gonna come to the front. This is for the anterior deltoids, arm straight, push up to the sky, push up. So just some basic tests. You can't perform those tests, it's super, super weak. The brain sends signals down your neck into the body part, the shoulders, that's not working right. We have to find a muscle that actually does work. Lift your right leg up, push up to the sky, push up, push up, push up. It doesn't work, it's hard. Lift your left leg up, up, okay. push up, push up. Okay, you can see that you've got no problem whatsoever. This muscle strength should be continuous. That strength should happen all over the body, not just that leg. When you climb, there should be no problem in your strength when you turn your head, bending back and forth, you're bending left and right. Bend your head right, good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, lift your head up, leg up, hold it up. And that doesn't work. Yep, bend your head to your left, up, hold it up. Good, so both sides. When you turn your head from side to side, there ensues a problem because you're putting strain on the nerve system, which is causing that muscle to not work anymore. So if you're climbing where you have to turn your head or tilt your head, your body's gonna go weak. It's not gonna be as strong as it can be. We detected two problems, a neurological dysfunction inside the neck, also a biomechanical dysfunction in the shoulders as well too. So we're going to fix that. This is a spring-loaded instrument. Sounds like a stapler, okay? Feels kind of like this, no problem. Easy, right? <laughs> Easy, okay? We're gonna do something called therapy localization. We're just gonna adjust right here, super easy. Three clicks, good. Up, push up to the sky, push up. Much better, good. Lift up to the sky, push up to the sky, push up, push up. Much easier, right? Are you using the same yep, strength? Same strength, yep, same, <laughs> same strength, yep. So we're gonna adjust right here, nice and easy. Good, up, and push up, push up. Better, good, look to your right. Look right, push up, push up, good. Still weak there. Just gonna adjust it right here. Good. Turn and push up. Push up. Much better. Good. Bend your head to your left. Bend left. There you go. Push up. Still weak there. Hand down. Up. Push up. Good. We haven't even touched the hips. Right hip was weak. Left hip was strong. Look what changes now. Lift the right leg up. Hold it up. That was weak before, now it's strong. You did its maximum of seven pulls, right? We have you turn, good, arm to your side, pull to your side, pull. Okay, still super difficult there, yeah? Same thing on the other side, pull to your side, pull. Okay, notice how that's weak. Both sides are weak. So we're gonna adjust this part here. And I'm gonna be, have put your hands right behind your neck. Big breath in, all the way out. <sighs> lean back, lean back, lean back, here we go. Good, 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 last one here. One more time, good. Now we try to test, arm straight, by your side, turn. And pull, pull, pull. A lot better, much better. Arm to your side, pull to your side, pull, pull, pull. Better. We found out if it's gonna be a biomechanical problem or a neurological problem, in which case you had both. Those dysfunctions translated into a weak performance inside the gym. So it's a one-time thing? For today, yes. It needs to be a repeated process so that the body can relearn what it needs to be doing. So let's go ahead and head back to the gym and find out how you're now performing. Okay, I am very excited. <laughs> the one side at a time, so left side and the right side. Oh, what? Yeah, you couldn't do that before. Other side now. Just a little trouble there, but yeah, so it's better. Ten. Thirty percent improvement.
That's crazy. <laughs> What we did in the beginning, we tested you for basic shoulder function. And we determined that as both uh, coming from a biomechanical dysfunction of the neck and of the upper back. While all the dysfunction is going on inside the rest of the body, the smaller muscle groups didn't have to overwork. So we adjusted the body for the bigger muscles to work. You had no pain before this, but there is dysfunction that was already there that you weren't really aware of. Thank you so much for... Dr. Leland Ferguson. Actually, let me extend the video a little bit. I did some research about chiropractic treatment myself after the session and then realized this is a controversial topic. I know some of you have the same doubts as I did, like you perform worse for the initial test because you are not fully warmed up, or this is just a placeable, or you simply just didn't try hard enough before. But what seals the deal for me was after two days, I was able to get past the crux for my first V7. So something scientific must be happening here. So hey, just be open-minded about trying new things, especially when you are not progressing. If it works, amazing. If it doesn't, there's nothing to lose either. I will continue to work with Leland and keep sharing my experiences with all of you. If you happen to be in San Diego, uh, Dr. Leland actually has an office in uh, Kearney Mesa. Kearney Mesa. So be sure to check him out. Thanks for watching. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.